I was thinking, how do you use an AED on a stormtrooper? I mean, you can't really get access to the chest very easily, and trying to cut it off is going to be a problematic. But then again, the Empire really isn't all that much on safety regulations. I really don't think they're OSHA compliant. Jedi, on the other hand, they're pretty easy access. Uh, those robes just open right up and away you go. But that Empire, it's a little bit more darker. The Jedi aren't completely without, without problems. They have a weird thing with head appendages, and you got to be careful when you're ready to shock the person that you don't get zapped yourself. So make sure you're staying clear. If we do get that chest plate off, I may find out that this person is actually a Wookiee. Luckily, there's a razor along with the AED, and you can just shave the patches. Another note, if you find that they've got any accessories on that are going through that area, make sure to take those off, because uh, they can cause something called arcing. It's kind of like when electricity sort of jumps off the end of your fingers when you shock someone, uh, except a lot more energy. Little known fact, he actually creates that by using wool socks underneath his robes. Another thing that can lead to arcing is if you've got a really wet chest. So when you place those pads, the electricity can come right across the surface. Good way of fixing that in the immortal words of Douglas Adams, make sure you have a towel. That metal bikini... Uh, can conduct electricity, along with the underwire on most bras. So we need to remove those. But this becomes a really sticky situation, and my mom's not going to be too happy. And as soon as I start mentioning nipples, people start getting really confused. By the way, relax, that's not a nipple, this is a cupcake. Regardless of gender, age, or if you are or are not the droids we're looking for, when performing CPR with an AED, treat the person with respect and try and use some crowd control. By the way, everyone has nipples, except for Jabba, who, coincidentally, does love cupcakes. When using an AED on, on Jabba, it's going to be the same position as you're doing before. Upper, upper right, lower left. The only problem we run into with Jabba is if we're trying to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, that mouth is quite large and the mouth and nostril is a little hard, so we may have to do compression-only CPR. Same thing might happen also when doing with Vader, because that helmet, as you saw in the movies, it's kind of hard to get that helmet off. Count Dooku, yes, I'm going prequel, has those electrical discharges coming out of his fingers too. But, as we can clearly see, he is wearing boots. So, how is he generating that electricity? Probably due to a pacemaker. So, if we're dealing with that, we just need to make sure we're placing the pads in the right spot. Yoda, besides having easy access, also has a couple of other issues. One... With his size, but we don't want the pads to be too close because they can cause arcing. So we treat him like a baby or a really small child. We replace one on the front and one pad on the back. Yoda's probably on some heart meds also too. Since it looked like in the movie he died from congestive heart failure, he probably has a nitroglycerin patch on him somewhere. If he does, remove the patch before you're placing your pads on him. Oh, final note, you don't have to shave the entire Wookiee or he may be quite upset.